Hi, how cold is too cold for your chickens? Well, the short answer is at night inside their coop, it should never get cold enough to freeze water. So let's say a safe target temperature should be 40 degrees Fahrenheit or about 4.5 degrees Celsius. Now during the day, when your chickens are running around outside and their metabolism is high and they're feeding, uh, they can do really well on their own with temperatures down to zero degrees Fahrenheit or about minus 17 Celsius. I'm currently in Minnesota where the temperatures here have been known to get as low as minus 60 Fahrenheit, which is minus 51 Celsius. That's way too cold for chickens. So let's talk about ways that you can help your chickens out in extremely cold temperatures. Wind chill is the worst. Make sure your chickens have a shelter from the wind when they're out in their run. Uh, I've just used some six mil uh, poly sheeting plastic that I've put over the run that have wrapped the whole thing in it. It's clear so it's still letting sunlight in, but it's just stapled up and I've uh, reinforced it with some furring strips. One tip, don't completely seal up the run. Leave a little bit of a gap at the top, just for some ventilation. Now, even in extreme cold temperatures like this, your chickens are still going to be active out in the run. And one thing you can do to help make sure their body heat stays up is to just give them an extra scoop of food. Um, help them generate that body heat and stay active out, out here during the day. If you've got a small flock of chickens and a small watering bucket, uh, you're going to need one of these bucket heaters. I'm using this one from k &H. It's very effective at keeping that bucket from freezing over and it just plugs into... Uh, a regular outlet. It works in any size bucket, but it's really effective in, in the small buckets. If you're using a big bucket like this one, make sure that you keep it full of water. Small amounts of water are easy to freeze, but big ones have a harder time, so that helps a lot in extremely cold weather. And now on to the real question, should you heat the interior of your coop? Honestly, if you live in a climate where the temperature stays above zero, uh, I, I would not recommend heating your coop. Your chicken's own body heat will be able to uh, get them through the nights inside their coop. They'll be well protected. Now, optionally, if it gets too cold, if it gets down below zero temperatures, you can insulate the inside of your coop. Uh, just make sure you put some sort of paneling up that um, protects the insulation so that the hens don't peck at it. And also make sure that your coop is not completely airtight. There needs to be some kind of a small vent up in the ceiling, um, enough for moisture to escape. Now, if you do live in an extremely cold climate where you feel that the interior of your coop needs a bit of a boost to keep it at that 40 degree Fahrenheit target temperature, what you can do is install some of these radiant heat panels. These ones are from K&H. They're called Thermo Chicken is the name of the product. Um, they only use about 40 watts though, uh, which means they're only kicking out about 136 BTU. If you have a small coop, something that's say under, 200, uh, under 20 cubic feet, um, that should be just fine. It should help you out a lot. But they are expensive. Um, they're between $60 and $90 retail. And for the amount of heat that they generate, um, it, I'm not sure it's worth it. If you have a larger walk-in coop, say 256 cubic feet, and uh, you live in an extremely cold climate like I do, you may want to try to find a way to boost that uh, interior coop temperature to its target 40 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Here's the thing, there's just not a good way to do it. There is no product out there that is designed for that kind of scenario. So you gotta get a bit inventive. Now, if you're thinking something like a 1500 watt ceramic heater, do not do this under any circumstances. It is just going to start a fire. It is a really bad idea. So I had to come up with an alternative. Here's what I came up with. Yep, it's a heat lamp. In fact, it's the same one that I used when the chickens were just chicks. Um, the only difference is now they're older, they're much more curious, and they want to grab things. Um, so you have to make sure that the wires and things are way out of the way, up against the ceiling where they're not gonna get at them. You have to have a cage on this. These things can still start a fire. They've gotta be well away from the walls. Here's a simple ceiling bracket I made. Uh, it's got a little hook for you to put the cord in. And then the rest of the clamp just goes around it like so. Now we don't want that heat lamp on all the time. It'll get way too hot. 
So we're looking at a target temperature around 40 degrees, just above freezing. The best way I found how to do that is using a thermostatic outlet. This particular one is called Thermocube, and uh, you can find it at like a farm supply store. This one costs about $20. I'll show you how it works. It's pretty simple. I just plug the Thermocube into the outlet that I have inside the coop, and then I plug my heat lamp into the Thermocube. Now when the temperature inside the coop reaches 32 degrees, this Thermocube will automatically turn on and allow my heat lamp to turn on. And when the temperature inside the coop gets too hot, right around 45 degrees, the Thermocube will shut off and shut off the heat lamp. And that way the temperature inside the coop will stay about a nice 40 degrees all day and all night long. Now 40 degrees might seem uncomfortable to you and me, but it's actually very comfortable for a chicken. They stay healthy. And healthy chickens keep laying eggs all winter long. So the heat lamp actually works really well for keeping the interior of the coop at its desired temperature. It does have a couple of drawbacks. For one, it's an infrared light that is shining on chickens with infrared vision while they are trying to sleep at night. I mean, how would you like it if there was a light shining on you? Um, and two, it's a fire hazard. So in summary, make sure that you've given your chickens a way to stay out of the wind, give them some shelter uh, from that wind chill. Make sure that the interior of the run and the coop are moisture free. Keep them really dry, uh, so ventilation. And uh, make sure that they have plenty of food so that they're generating their own BTUs and keeping their body heat up. Give them plenty of water, keep that water bucket full so it doesn't freeze over. And if you live in an extremely cold climate where you just have to add some kind of heat source to the interior of the coop, uh, we found that the Thermocube actually works really well and the heat lamp you know i'm just taking a risk with that it's a big gamble and i'm already looking for an alternative if you've got any suggestions please leave them in the comments thanks for watching guys don't subscribe it'll just encourage me